Mr. <coughs> President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum, ni hao, good morning, bonjour, stras tu te, buenos dias. In January 1946, the United Nations, then known as the UN Organization, held its first General Assembly in London, United Kingdom. Six months later, Interpol, then known as the International Criminal Police Commission, was to hold its 15th General Assembly in Brussels, Belgium. After a difficult period for the world, the meeting was called to restore the Commission, which had not held its meetings since 1938. Records show that even then, Interpol's member countries had reflected on what our relations will be with the United Nations. Over 70 years since then, the global threat landscape has evolved many folds. Complexities in tackling transnational crimes stand to be grave. The trends in criminal flows indicate ever-growing challenges over the horizon. In such times, enhancing cross-border law enforcement cooperation has become critical. So has the need for governmental leadership worldwide to support this cooperation. Serving as an independent, apolitical entity since 1923, Interpol connects law enforcement around the globe in working together towards a safer world. With neutrality enshrined in its constitution, our organization enables cooperation between police forces of even countries that do not have diplomatic relations. Interpol has well-developed policing capabilities to assist its global membership based strictly on its neutral mandate and objectives. The organization provides a unique, trusted, and secure platform to enable the exchange of police information across borders. This continues to be at the core of Interpol's mandate. In fact, at the last Interpol General Assembly session held only two weeks ago, member countries have voted for new additional measures to make Interpol's information sharing system all the more robust. We also serve to provide capacity building, analytical expertise, and 24-7 support to policing and law enforcement. This includes the coordination of cross-border operational effort as well. Established in every single member country, Interpol's national central bureaus serve to facilitate international police cooperation within an established institutional framework. Interpol's three global programs focusing on countering terrorism, organized and emerging crimes, and cybercrime. Cooperation between the UN and Interpol is, in these crime areas, key in achieving our common goals. Finally, as an independent and neutral entity to serve law enforcement, Interpol must and will remain completely apolitical. However, given a complex threat landscape, the efforts of international police cooperation require more support from political leadership. In the fight against 21st century transnational crime, more emphasis is needed on governmental responsibilities towards enabling the work of law enforcement globally. Because in looking ahead, continued cooperation on police and security matters is even more desirable to bring about global peace and stability, as I expressed to the outgoing UN Secretary General recently. Our cooperation has deepened and strengthened under his tenure, and Interpol thanks Secretary General Ban Ki-moon for his consistent support. We also look forward to further nurturing this relationship under the UN Secretary General elect. Here today, Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the tabling of the resolution on cooperation between the United Nations and Interpol marks an important step forward in the journey of our two organizations. We move closer to supporting Interpol's vision 
of a safer world. For the member countries of Interpol and for the member states of the United Nations. In closing, I want to recognize the key role of the permanent missions of Australia and Rwanda in facilitating this draft resolution. I would also like to extend Interpol's gratitude to the co-sponsors, especially the permanent missions of Argentina, Brazil, Jamaica, Jordan, Thailand, and Switzerland, who greatly assisted in this important process. In the end, it is to support the efforts of law enforcement agencies in 190 member countries that we stand here today to foster synergies for a safer world. On, behalf, on their behalf, let me assure you that international police cooperation must positively look forward to Interpol's continued cooperation with all relevant agencies of the United Nations system. With that hope and purpose, Interpol expresses its gratitude to the United Nations General Assembly for giving us this opportunity today. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Doy las gracias al observador de la Organización Internacional de Policía Criminal, Interpol.